All right, uh, welcome to another fan video. Uh, this is going to be mostly about the signal fan, um, getting a few things going for that now that we have it back at the house. But I had to share this with you. I was at Target getting something for that project, and they had these big orange canister fans. Man, these things are cool, especially the big one. Uh, had a proper frame for the motor and everything. I mean, it's just, you know, pretty cool anyway to see. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to spend $400 on something like that, whatever. Uh, here's a shot of the crazy cat lady downstairs who walks her cats on leashes. Pretty cool, these. Yeah, okay, and so then uh, I haven't noticed that the GE5 wing was leaving a shadow on the building. It was really hard to get video of this, um, uh, but there it is. Uh, stay tuned after the spin down on that for more actual fan video coming up on the signal. All right, we're here with the signal. Um, we're going to oil it. I have a little bit of this left. I got some more zoom spout on the way. Uh, and I bought some feet for it uh, at Home Depot, believe it or not. These are 7 eighths inch, so they're kind of big. But I like. I think the white is going to match the overall look of the fan. Um, and, you know, I, you can buy all kinds of this kind of crap on Amazon, but they're all stock photos, and you can't really see how big they are. Um, I'm not really sure this is going to work. The openings are fairly large. I kind of think what I'm going to need to do, uh, those are sheet metal screws that are probably not going to be big enough. I'm going to need to go to my stash and see if I can find some little bolts and washers that will work with these. And if we don't find that, we'll have to take them back. Um, everything comes with screws, but this is going to need bolts and washers, I think. So we'll see what happens. I said it before and I'll say it again, this was a smart move buying this full of stuff. The guy, this was from a, a guy who did sewing, fabric, um, uh, whatever you call that, a uh, bunch of old sewing machines, stuff like that. I got this lamp there, which is pretty awesome, uh, and I was able to find enough stuff to use the rubber, the, the rubber guys that I bought with a washer for the uh, upside, the washer for the fan side, screw and bolt, which I hopefully those will be big enough. And they should fit on here okay. We're gonna get that together. I ended up using a lock washer on the body side, and uh, it looks like they're they they obviously stick out because they're brand new and they're white. But I think it's gonna be a nice look, and hopefully it'll sit nice and flat. It's been sitting on the bottom for a long, long time. So I'm not sure if it's actually gonna be flat once we get it on the feet. We'll find out. I don't have a lot of room to add space but I can always find another um, length of um, screw bolt if necessary. Um, this is just what I had that seemed to fit and doesn't stick out too far because we don't want it to look ugly as much as possible anyway so there we go it's just an old fan right relax. All right we'll get it together and then we'll oil it. All right there's how it came out with the four feet on it. It's still got bleh, whatever that is we'll deal with that in a second. Uh, but these seem to be attached okay. Um, you know, they're rubbery, so they're not going to take a whole lot of beating. These are more rubber than the black plastic ones I get, you think, I think. But uh, just a Home Depot item, uh, three bucks, you know. Uh, I had to source my own stuff. If I didn't have this stuff, I'd have spent more money on this. Um, but that's what it needed because the holes that were in the body of the fan were way bigger than these sheet metal screws. That never would have worked. Uh, so anyway, that's what we got. Let's oil the motor. Seems to be taking oil. Um, 
the front had stopped taking oil a little bit. See if we can get a little mother drop in there. We don't want to overdo it. And that's that's all. Walk away. Walk away, they say, because I don't. You don't know how big a felt is in there. You don't know if it's really going to accept that much. Um, so. That's all I'm gonna put in for now. I'm gonna run it for a little bit, let it warm up. Hopefully that oil will soak down to the bearing where it needs to go. All right, since I posted the videos about this fan, we've been kind of back and forth. Maybe this is a friction fit on here, but there are these markings. I don't know, it's not markings. It's like, I think there's a clip. There might be an E-clip or some sort of a deal. See that right there, the square edges? That's a clip of some kind. So there might actually be a way um, yeah, there's some sort of a clip in there, maybe. Um, not that I have the balls to try to take this off of here. Uh, I'm more of the let well enough alone in the time being, um, type of dude. Um, but we got a little oil in here. Let's run it for a little bit and let her warm up. Here's the signal on our deluxe stand fan stand. It's not really what it's for, but it works good. It's got its uh, rubber feet, looks pretty good with the new rubber feet, and it sits nice and flat, which is just what we want to find out. It doesn't really wobble. So uh, I'm gonna run it for a little while. Here on high, let it warm up. See how she does.